What's up everybody, Dan again. Welcome back to the Stock Trades YouTube channel. In this week's video, I'm going to be going into a little bit of a different direction and talking about a pretty unique account that has come here to Canada, at least to uh, Canadians outside of Quebec. It's currently not available in Quebec. As of me filming this, uh, you'll have to make sure that you are checking up on the current situation because you could be watching this video a week from now, a year from now, whatever the case may be. But that is Equitable Bank's notice savings account. Now, for those who are seeking out, you know, short-term savings, you've been investing in GICs, you've been looking at, you know, fixed income investments, maybe it be a money market fund or a bond ETF, whatever the case may be, this account has absolutely changed the game when it comes to those investments. I mean, I don't see a ton of advantage right now in investing in, you know, those high set ETFs or even money market funds when Equitable has come out with an account like this that is going to give you the uh, almost the exact same rates you would get on a fixed income ETF and all you're doing is sacrificing a little bit of liquidity. I'm going to go over the notice savings account in this video, give my overall opinions on it. And as always, if you want to open up an account, I threw a link in the description. It takes probably 10 minutes. I think I had mine open up because I'm already an Equitable Bank uh, customer. I think I had my account open in five minutes and I already had money in there earning interest. It is an amazing account and we're going to dive into it right now. So as always, everybody head down below, smash that like button, drop a comment as to whether or not you've opened up a notice savings account yet, and also subscribe to the channel. It helps us continue to provide great videos like this. So what exactly is the notice savings account? Now, this is pretty much the first account of its kind that is structured this way. And what it does is Equitable will pay you a higher rate of interest. And all you have to do is give them particular notice when you want to withdraw your money. So if we come down here, we can see that if you give them 10 day notice, you will earn 4.5% on your money. And if you give them 30 day notice, you will earn 5%. Now, a lot of people might come to me and say, well, I can get 5% with a platform like Well Simple Trade. And yes, that is true. Sorry, not Well Simple Trade, Well Simple Cash. You can get that, but you need to be a generation client, which means you need more than at this point in time, half a million dollars in assets with the company. With Equitable, there's absolutely no minimums here. You could throw a thousand dollars in here and you will earn 5% as long as you give them 30 day notice. This is a huge advantage for a lot of Canadians because not a lot of Canadians have half a million dollars in assets. And this is a great way to start earning an outstanding return on your capital. I mean, it, the, arguably even an emergency fund, you know, with only providing 30 day notice. Now, I had a podcast not too long ago with Simon on the Canadian Investor Podcast, and he made a very good point. Most credit cards, when you purchase something, they don't carry interest for 30 days. So some Canadians could even, you know, roll an emergency fund into this notice savings account. And if they have any emergency expenses, they could put it on a credit card and, you know, they could have that money within 30 days. And you wouldn't be charged interest on that emergency purchase on a credit card. So this 30 day window, you know, it doesn't give you as good of liquidity as something like a HISA ETF. It isn't bad enough that I would ever deem this, you know, this account to be not liquid. I mean, even on a 10 day notice, we get four and a half percent. And I guess the one caveat I will say is depending on when you're watching this rates could have gone down. I mean, they could go up, but it's, it's highly unlikely they go up. Uh, if policy rates continue to go down, these rates will no doubt be adjusted downwards. So make sure you're actually checking the rates on Equitable's website at the time you're looking at this video and you could do so by clicking the link in the description below. You put your money in this account. It's going to earn this interest. If you ever want to withdraw it, you give them notice and then you get that money when the notice is over. So, I mean, you're going to make much more than most other banks. I don't know of a bank that offers this type of situation at all. I mean, I know most major banks are 
pretty much offering practically nothing on deposits, like just deposits into a basic checking account, things like that. So again, better rates. I mean, there's no limited time conditions. This isn't a promotional offer. This account will continue to exist. The only difference is, is that it's going to be adjusted depending on the uh, Bank of Canada policy rates. And that's a lot of the times why we see these asterisks, like we can see the 4.5%. It's got an asterisk on it. And if we come down here, it says interest is calculated daily. Rates are per annum and subject to change without notice. This is going to be heavily dependent on the Bank of Canada and how they move. So same rates for all. Again, I mentioned there's no special treatment. You don't need a minimum deposit. You can put $500 in there. You can put $10,000 in there. The one thing is you don't need that large chunk of assets like you would need with a company like Well Simple Cash, which is a great platform, don't get me wrong, but you do need that higher deposit amount to qualify for that 5% cash. So your uh, deposits are CDIC insured, which is key when we compare it to something like a money market fund or a HISA ETF. Those are not CDIC insured, meaning if the let's say cash.to, I know a lot of people know of Global X's uh, HISA ETF cash.to, that is not CDIC insured. So if the institutions that Global X is investing the savings in get into trouble, you could potentially not be covered and lose your initial investment. The risk is very, very minimal, but it ultimately is not zero. So this is very important to understand. These are deposit protected up to, I would imagine, $100,000. So how the account works, you choose a rate. So you just deposit money, your selection determines how much notice you need to give for withdrawal. So you deposit money. If you want, you know, you need a bit more liquidity, you might choose that 10 day withdrawal notice. So that'll get you four and a half percent. Whereas if you think, hey, I won't need this money for at least a month, you can select the 30 day, which is gonna unlock you 5%. So you're gonna deposit that money. The interest is earned daily and you can keep making deposits and adding to that amount whenever you like. Now you can request to withdraw the funds at any time. You trigger a withdrawal request. At that point, your time starts either your 10 day or your 30 day. And after that period ends, you'll get your money. So again, as mentioned, after 10 or 30 days, you're going to get your cash. So ultimately this account really is that simple. So what are the main benefits of this over something like a GIC, a money market fund, or a HISA ETF? The one main benefit I had mentioned is it's CDIC protected, whereas a money market fund or a HISA ETF, although virtually no risk, it is not zero. There is risk there. And when we look to GICs, I mean, if we go to Equitable Bank's GIC rates, for a one year GIC, you're getting 5.05. That's, you know, you have no liquidity there. You're locking in that GIC for 365 days, or you can earn 5% and you can have 30 day liquidity. I mean, at this point for me, it's almost a no brainer. So as a self-employed Canadian, you know, running my own business, I take payments from my business. And then what I used to do is place them in GICs. I would place them in GICs until they matured. And from that point, I would earn a little bit on my taxable income and be able to pay that off. I, you know, save a little bit. If I could, you know, get a one-year GIC at 5%, ultimately I earn 5% on the income that I have to pay towards taxes, which is a bit of a savings. But for now, I open one of these accounts up and I see, you know, very little advantage to actually locking that money up in a GIC, even though I will not need it whatsoever. It's kind of set aside to cover my income taxes come tax time. I don't really see a huge advantage in just not opening up one of these accounts and getting that 30 day liquidity anyways, just in case something disastrous were to happen and I would need that money. I mean, when we go here, there's really no rate that is going to be more beneficial than that uh, notice savings account. It truly is probably one of the best savings accounts in the country. I would, it is the best. I can't really think of anything else. So when we think about another benefit of this account, compared to say a money market fund or a HISA ETF, a lot of the times we think those uh, ETFs are completely liquid, which they are. You can buy and sell them on the market uh, like right away. You'll have your cash right away when you sell and you can do whatever you want with it. But in reality, especially the 10 day notice account, there really is very little difference 
over, you know, even a HISA or a money market fund. So if we think about the actual process of getting our money to a broker, say we're with Wellsimple Trade, Quest Trade, Q Trade, all that type of stuff, we have to make a deposit into the account. And I'm not exactly sure how the other brokerages work. I know Wellsimple Trade does do instant deposits, so you can deposit and buy right away. But in the case of a brokerage where you have to deposit your money and wait, you're going to deposit your money. You're probably going to wait one to two business days before it pops up. Then you're going to go in and you're going to buy the fund, the uh, HISA ETF or the money market fund. You're going to start earning interest on that. And then when you need to withdraw money, you're going to sell. It's often going to take one or two days for that sale to clear. Then you're going to withdraw your money and it's going to take one to two business days to hit your bank account. So in reality, we're looking at what? six or seven days to get access to your capital. So when you think about it, the 10 day notice to earn four and a half percent, whereas with, you know, the HISA ETFs and the money market ETFs, you're earning probably 4.7%. You're not even getting that much more liquidity. It's probably going to take you a week to get your hands on the money regardless. So I mean, for an account like this to be literally, you know, I bank with Equitable Bank. I have my, uh, checking account, I guess with them, you would call it their savings account. I do all my banking through them. So really, I mean, this is just another standard account that sits side by side with my checking account and I earn four and a half percent. I mean, in my case, I have a lot of it in the 30 day notice, which I'm earning 5%. So I mean, you're not giving up that much liquidity on the 10 day notice end, even with a completely liquid ETF, a cash ETF, I believe is an absolute no brainer for anyone who's trying to save some money, earn some, you know, interest on their emergency fund. You know, if we really think of an emergency fund, as I mentioned before, you know, there could be a particular way where you could finance a particular emergency on a credit card, which would not bear interest until that month is over, unless it's a cash advance. And then you could just put your withdrawal notice in on one of these and you'll have your money in 10 or 30 days, you pay off the expense. So, I mean, this is a completely viable option for somebody who wants to, you know, get some interest even on their absolute emergency fund that they have set aside uh, in case of a rainy day. With this account, and I'm not particularly sure how this account will work moving forward, but as of right now, I see very little advantage to even completely liquid money market funds and especially GICs, which offer virtually no liquidity for something like this, like this, in my opinion, this is an absolutely genius account. I opened one almost right when they came out. And you know, if you're not a current equitable bank customer, it's going to take you maybe 10 or 15 minutes to open an account. And if you're a current customer, even less than that. Overall, I am a huge fan of this account. I think every Canadian should open one. I think we are long past the point where Canadians should be paying to bank. I mean, I ditched my major bank. They were charging me, I think $13 a month to operate a checking account. Whereas with Equitable, they're paying me that amount to have my deposits in there. I mean, it's an absolute no brainer at this point. There is a reason why Equitable Bank is growing at an absurd pace. Its customer count is just soaring. It's because of accounts like this that, you know, Finally, finally, Canadians don't have to be taken advantage of when it comes to the major banks. They can instead open an account with EQ Bank, whether it be a savings account uh, or this notice savings account, and they can start to earn interest on their money. We're in the highest rate environment we've been in for decades, and Canadians need to start taking advantage of these crazy high interest rates that are offered on deposits, and Equitable Bank is just the best, to be honest, in my opinion, they are the best at doing this. They've pretty much taken well, simple trades, high 5% well, simple cash offer, which requires half a million dollars in assets. And they said, Hey, we're going to give this to absolutely anybody who opens an account. So that's it for the video today, everybody. I really hope you like it. I really hope you head down below, click the link, open an account. This account is a no brainer to me. There's virtually no caveats and you can start earning interest on your money right away. And as always head down below, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you've opened an account like this and let me know what your or liking about Equitable Bank overall. And as always, stay tuned to the channel for more great investing and personal finance tips from Stock Trades.